What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to convert from liters to inches cubed, right? And the conversion that we're given doesn't actually have liters in it. So it's just one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Okay, so we need to find a way to get from liters to centimeters because liters and centimeters are both metric units. And then we can get from centimeters to inches using our conversion right here. And inches are imperial units, right? So first of all, uh, conversion that you should know is that one liter is equal to 1,000 centimeters cubed. So, okay, so here we can get from liters to centimeters, and then again, we can get from centimeters to inches, okay? So first of all, we're going to multiply two liters times this conversion right here. One liter is equal to 1,000 centimeters cubed, okay? So I'm gonna put the 1,000 centimeters cubed on top, and I'm gonna put the one liter on the bottom, right? Why did I put the centimeters on top and the liters on the bottom? Well, because we already have liters on top over here, okay? And you always want the same units on opposite sides. So since we already have liters up here, I want to put this liters down here, that way they can cancel out. And then we're going to multiply this by our other conversion over here. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, okay? But first we need to convert this relationship into a volumetric relationship, right? Because here it just says one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So inches and centimeters, those are just lengths, right? And we're talking about volumes, right? Three dimensional. So we need to raise both of these units over here. So one inch, we're gonna raise it to the third power and 2.54 uh, centimeters, we're also going to raise to the third power, okay? And that's because, again, this is just a linear relationship, right? One inch is equal to 2.54 four centimeters, but we're talking about volumes and volumes are three dimensional, right? So that's why these are cubics, okay? If we were talking about areas, right? Like a square footage or square feet, square inches, square miles, square centimeters, whatever, you would put a two, okay? Because you're talking about squares. But in any case, we're talking about volumes here, right? So that's why we're raising everything, everything to the third power. So here we're gonna have, uh, remember the exponent gets applied to everything uh, basically inside of your parentheses. So it's gonna get applied to the one and to the inches. So here we're gonna have one raised to the third power times inches raised to the third power. And then that's gonna be equal to uh, 2.54 raised to the third power times centimeters raised to the third power. Okay, so now you can see that our units are volumetric, right? Inches cubed and centimeters cubed, okay? So here one cubed, that's equal to one. And then here, this is just inches cubed. And then this is gonna be equal to 2.54 cubed is equal to approximately 16.39, okay? And then our units right here are centimeters cubed. Okay, so here we have one inch cubed is equal to approximately 16.39 centimeters cubed, okay? So here is our volumetric relationship, and this is what we're going to multiply by right here, okay? So here we already have centimeters cubed on the top, so these centimeters cubed we're gonna put on the bottom, right? So we're gonna put 16.39 centimeters cubed on the bottom and then one inch cubed on top, okay? So then again, we have centimeters cubed on the top and the bottom, so those cancel out, right? Now the units we're looking for are inches cubed, right? We're converting from liters to inches cubed, so we finally have those on top over here. So now we're done with our conversions, right? The last thing we have to do is just multiply everything uh, together on top and then everything together on the bottom, right? So first of all, on top, we have two times 1,000 times one inch cubed, right? Two times 1,000 times one inch cubed, and that's gonna go over uh, one times 16.39, which is just equal to 16.39. Okay, now on top we have two times 1,000, which is 2,000, and then 2,000 times one is still just 2,000. So this is equal to 2,000. And then our units right there, inches cubed over 16.39. So then 2,000 divided by 16.39 is approximately, and I'll just write it over here in the middle, uh, 122 inches cubed, all right? Don't forget your units right there, right? Inches cubed, boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.